Hello everyone and welcome. So yesterday I did my very first crayfish boil. Crayfish if you're up here in Minnesota, crawfish if you're down south. Um, I had, if you guys watch the videos that I have done, and I've done a lot of them on crayfishing, uh, I do boil them and I usually peel them and then freeze them, fry them up at a later date, but uh, I just posted a video and we nailed the mud bugs this last weekend, at least for here in Minnesota. For a Minnesota person going out with just five traps in a, just a three day, two and a half day set, over 600 of them, um, it was amazing. So it was okay, it was time. I've gotten a lot of tips from you guys. I've got friends in Louisiana, you know, just, and I, and I was lucky enough to stay down there for a few weeks last winter and truly eat what you guys are eating down there, and they were amazing. So it was time to give it a try, and here's how I did. Okay, so I'm getting the corn cut up and the sausage. This stuff is going to go in at the end. So, but I need everything cut up before I get everything really going good out there. This is the stuff now that's going to go in at the end of the cooking time, like the last 10 minutes, because corn doesn't take long, the sausage is already cooked, and the mushrooms, they don't take long either. So now i got to get together the stuff that has to go in first. Okay, so I'm going to throw in three lemons. I'm just going to cut those in half. And, yeah, I think I'll put in two limes. Along with that, we're going to want to add in a few bunches of garlic. Okay, another thing we're going to want is a few onions in there. And I'm just going to half these also. All right, and uh, you can't forget some red potatoes. And since I love potatoes, I'm just gonna throw a bunch of them in to cook them, and I can eat them one at a Okay, so on top of that, we cannot forget our seasoning, and I just bought this. It comes in bags like this. It's the only kind we can buy here in Minnesota. Um, it's from Louisiana, it's a Louisiana brand name, but um, Anyway, that has to go in there too. So this will go into the boil first. As soon as the potatoes start to get a little bit soft, then we will dump in the crayfish, let them go for about five minutes or so, then we'll dump all this stuff in, let it go for another 10 minutes, and we'll go from there. In the directions on that crab boil, I'm supposed to add four tablespoons of salt uh, for each bag. They said if you're putting it into a certain amount of water, but we're just dumping it into a lot of water. So anyway, this is all the salt that'll go in with this also. All right, guys, well, I'm going to add the water into the pot right now. And this is kind of the, the hardest part because I don't really, if I had done this a whole bunch of times, I'd know how much water is supposed to go in there. But anyway, I'm just going to try to get it in there what I think it'll be, and, and as time goes on, I'll, I'll get better at it. Okay, so I'm opting not to put any cayenne pepper in there at all. It, you said, it says that you can. I don't like when my forehead is sweaty from eating, so we're just going to leave it like this, and if I ever want to add it in when I do it another time, I can do it then. stage of it, of course, I'm going to bring it up to boiling and just boil it long enough so the potatoes are just starting to get soft, you know, because they're going to take the 
the very longest, and everything else is just in there as a season. So um, everything should mix together real nice and be ready when we put in the crayfish. Got about, I don't know, eight more minutes to go. So you should probably do really good. <laughs> well, just pretend you're hey, not. Hey, we should get Judd to join despite his Wells Fargo. <laughs> Yeah, but in what way are they unknown? You don't know who they are. I you don't know who anybody is on the internet. Unless you're like some kind of creepy... On the internet, nobody knows you. Alright, All right, there you go guys. Let's dig in. I start doing it to try to learn. Like, no, wow. let me just That's do it. Lie. You said I couldn't have a plate. Wow, I didn't realize we were going to have a feast. Oh, it was the broads yeah. and crayfish. Yeah, it would look worse. Oh. No, this one. This is already a lot. So, this is, I know. Yeah. I was like, try a crayfish. The broads are over there. This looks like a good one. You were alive just moments ago, and now you're dead. Break the whole thing. And this one does not have a lot of meat, but that's fine. There's a little bit. <laughs> and then you just pinch them. No, there's no meat there. Right. There's no meat there. And then now, like, this whole, like, big part right here. Alright, we got ketchup, mustard, and sweet relish. They run into these little stalls, stalls and they take a little air gun. Okay, so as you can see, I mean, it went really good. I thought that I was going to be here pretty much doing this alone, just a couple people trying them. And then they brought friends over that were swimming and stuff, so um, it ended up being just like you see in you guys' videos where everybody was just gathered around the pot. Most of the people had never eaten crayfish before that were in a boil. So I had, one other person had, but I don't think any of the other ones had. So I will say this, um, they were good, and I didn't want them to be too hot or anything, and they weren't, but they definitely could have used more salt. So any comments you guys have, or um, I used the Zatarains or Zatarans seasoning, and I've heard that some people like that, some people don't. When I was down in Louisiana, we got them from, it was Reno and Hope Seafood in Sorrento, and they were absolutely delicious. And I don't know what they put in there, but it was just the right amount and not too hot. I didn't want it to be sweaty, I don't want that. Um, they were just delicious. And these were all really good, but they definitely were not uh, Louisiana boiled crayfish, so, or crawfish. So anyway, looking for tips. Next time I'm going to add more salt, and uh, I mean the season's just starting here, so I'll be catching a lot more, and we'll be doing it again. So thanks a lot for watching, and stay tuned. Please comment, subscribe so you can see more, and we'll see you next time.